vom Kingsman Schneider Salon in London. Vielleicht haben Sie ja von uns gehört. Um, uh, He made us do uh, it. We, yeah, I'm certainly contractually obliged. Um, but saying that, it, you know, I, there was you couldn't, have, you know, wild dogs couldn't have kept me away from coming back to do this film. I'm very proud of the first one, for I guess for all of the reasons that so many people enjoyed it. Yeah, me too. I mean, I think we were all signed up for a few of them because these days films get made, and there's always the notion that there could be another world for it if it's successful. But uh, like Taron, is there's there's you know. If you're in a film that's fun and successful, then yeah, why, wouldn't, why wouldn't you want to? You want to stay involved, yeah. I think Matthew's very cleverly uh, um, incorporated all of the things that made the first one great and that people really liked. So, you know, uh, and there's kind of like uh, some self referencing in there as well, and little nods of the head to some of the ideas that really caught on in the first one. Um, and then it's been built on, and the scale has become more epic. Um, or the fights and the action have become more ambitious. We said that the, the first thing we shot was us uh, stood over the the, oh, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Um, yeah. the destroyed remains of the Kingsman shop, and that uh, it was it was we were sort of straight in at the deep end there. And, and I think you were saying, and I agree with you, it, it's a, it's got a real kind of gravitas. It's power, a real powerful scene in the movie. Yeah. There's something about the darkness of it, the rain, you know, the fact that you realise that everything's gone. It's, gone, it's just yes. these two guys and even they're not sure whether they trust each other. Yeah. It's kind of a really pivotal moment in the movie and that was the very, very first thing that we shot. Yeah. And uh, now the end is near and so I face the final curtain My friend I'll say it clear I'll state my case uh, Well, I think we certainly dress better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's one. More stylish. More stylish. I think the Kings would possibly have uh, sort of a greater gift for restraint, maybe, than the statesmen do. Better so, manners as better well. Better manners. Better manners. Isn't... isn't uh, t uh, doesn't... Uh, Jeff rebuke Channing at one point for not yes, wearing his jacket or that's something, right, or he's yeah. wearing the wrong clothes somewhere, yes, a tie that's right. or something he's not wearing. Yeah. Did I bore you there with that answer? I'm so sorry. I'm feeling very jet-lagged right at this kidding, moment I'm in time. I'm, I'm sorry. I, know, I do. I, know, I, know. I know. Of which I'm certain. I think he's very. Uh, I think he's very uh, honourable. I think he's someone who's very brave and. Um, and also, one thing about Eggsy is he may be sort of. Uh, rash and say things possibly without thinking it through, but he apologises for his mistakes. I think that's a nice quality of somebody. I, I like I like the fact um, the thing I like most about Merlin is you can rely on him. He's very dependable and reliable and honest and straight. You know, you'd go into battle with that guy. It's wit, I think. The wit and the imagination. I think sometimes spy movies, obviously, are dealing with a world that is full of intrigue, betrayal, lack of trust, danger, action, all of those things. And it's wonderful seeing films that deal with that and the difficulties and the, uh, the danger of that. But it's even better seeing that world done with a little bit of a, a twist of humour about it, I think. I could agree more, yeah. And I, th I think there is... Not with all action films, but there are, there are a lot of action films which are so about the action that they forget about character and relationships, and I, I don't feel like we suffer from that at all. I think you, you care about the, the characters in Kingsman. What has he got? No. <laughs> Not at the moment, nothing springs to mind. No, no, I'm kidding, they're cool, you know, they're cool. They're, they know how to handle a kind of Winchester repeater rifle or whatever it is that Channing has. They're really great yeah, yeah. with lassoes. I mean, that American denim cowboy hat thing, That I think that looks pretty cool. You know, they're cool in their own way. I mean, and as, as British as we are, they are as American as you can probably get.